What do you got there? Fry bread. Fry bread? Yeah. What's fry bread? Fry bread is bread dough. Yeah? That you thaw out. Yeah? And then you, you make it real flat, and then you put it in boiling oil. Okay, so I'm going to do this, all right? Okay. But you hear some boiling behind me? Yes. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. We're working on some right there. Oh, okay. We're deep frying the bread dough. Shake the oil off. Dip it in the butter. Dip it in the brown sugar. Brown? Oh, boy. Powdered. Excuse me. And plop it in my plate. Plop it in your plate. Let's start at the beginning. First of all, well, the beginning would actually be um, at the grocery store where you buy frozen bread dough balls for making biscuits. That's what these are. And I keep them in the freezer frozen. And I take out four or five of them at a time. And I keep them in this plastic bag. And then I keep that plastic bag in the refrigerator and they thaw out. And then the rest of these, I put them back in the freezer. So I take some of the dough out here that's melted or softened or sticky or thawed. And I roll it up and I smack it down there. And then I spread it out with a fork like this. And I have found that if you make a little hole in the middle like that, it cooks better. Then just kind of pick it up. And plop it in the oil. Oh, and I'm going to eat mine. Mmm. <laughs> what? Stupid. What's so stupid? Mm -hmm. Oh. What do you have? Jam. Black Blackberry jam. jam. No seeds. Oops. I like mine with just powdered sugar and lots of butter. Hi, friends. You want to see how some mornings go? Here's how my morning's going. Couldn't get out the door this morning. The latch came apart. I had to stick my arm out that window, actually my head, in order to make my arm long enough and grab the outside door latch. Fortunately, that part still worked. And I've got the door lock apart and figured out that that little clip right there came off a this rod right here and it's got to go back in there I used a magnet because it was just kind of sitting there and if I had dropped it I would have to take the whole door apart to get it where it would go which would be all the way to the bottom of the door the magnet fortunately helped me get that out of there magnet and an ice pick anyway got it all apart and now I'm trying to figure out how am I going to put that back in there since you can't hold it in there with your finger and press on it this thing here has to go all the way on that rod anyway I've come up with a plan I'm going to drill a hole in this little piece of wood here and I'm going to stick that down there 
and then I'll be able to press on the washer enough to get it on the rod completely. And then uh, if I drill the hole so that, well, I'll show you when I get the hole drilled. I'm going to super glue that washer right there. And I have a slot so I can pull the board back out when I get done. And that will allow me to push that washer all the way onto that rod and not lose the washer down in the bottom. So we're gonna super glue it. By the way, I super glue and I solder on my cutting board, uh, acrylic cutting board, as evidenced by, where is it? Right there, a dimple. <laughs> and on the other side, I think, oh yeah, soldering. But it works fine and it keeps it from endangering my table. So we're super gluing that. That's the next step. Okay, it's just been uh, about a minute, but it doesn't have to be. It only has to hold long enough to stick the rod into the hole. Well, best laid plans. It is a good plan. Don't drop the board. And it does slide right down there. The washer's holding, but the board is too wide for me to get it all the way over to the hole. Another problem to solve. And this will be the solution rather than get the saw back out. Okay, it's working. Oh, and I put a screw in there just in case I drop the whole board. Success! Yay! Let's see what, uh, pulling the... Actually, I could shove that on just a little bit more. Hang on a second. I've put about, I don't know, I didn't count, but it must be close to 20 layers of uh, masking tape on the back of the board to make it thicker. And now it just fits in there snug. And <clears throat> I'm also going to use this screw in the back of the board. And then when I push here, it's like teeter-totter levering it to that. Got it. That washer is onto the rod the last little millimeter. Don't drop the screw. Pull out the board. Everything working perfectly there. You're wondering why I went to so much trouble to get that last little bit? It's because I never want that to happen again. So let's test it. We lock the door, click that, pull on the lever on the inside, and click. Works. Of course, it'll work from the outside. Nothing on the outside came loose. Perfect. So, got to put it back together because... My friend Donnie and Rachel and Luann are coming up from Vail to go for a Jeep ride out to the Empire Road BLM uh, area up here by Sonoida, Arizona. All put together. Dead bolt working perfectly. Not my first rodeo, having been a landlord for years, of taking a dead bolt in and out. Not my first rodeo, get it? <laughs> I'm at the rodeo grounds in Sonoida, Arizona. Yeah, I hear you, Mr. Crow. Same right back at you. Done. <laughs> you know, we used to think that men were smarter than monkeys because they were tool makers. Men, tool makers, the tool maker. 
Well, that's what I did this morning. I made this tool. And I think I'll keep it. Just in case. Gonna put it in the drawer there. I think I am smarter than a monkey. Not much. Might depend on the monkey. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today. <laughs>